YouTube. Bye. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Today we are so excited because we have a winter coats and accessories try on haul for you. Both of us ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon and tried it all on and now we are going to be sharing our thoughts. Thank you too. So we ordered some coats, some ski pants, um, hats and gloves and then there will be a part two to this where we try on a bunch of base layers from some Amazon brands as well as from big brands like Icebreaker and Holly Hansen. So be sure to check that out. Um, and guys, without further ado, let's get into the try on haul. So first up, we both got these soft shell pants. Mine are the TSLA women's soft shell pant in a size extra large. These are from Amazon and they were um, about $40. Now, I personally did not really enjoy the way these felt. They are fleece lined and I think they would be super warm, but they were very low rise and that is just like not it for me. So I probably will not keep them, um, but they are very warm. And if you have less of a booty than I do, I think that these might fit you really well. Just for me personally, I didn't really like the way they hugged my curves. Now, I tried these uh, snow pants. These are the first time I've ever bought one. Uh, it was kind of new for me, and I can tell you that these are the Cyclo Men's snow pants in a size medium. Uh, one thing I can say, they are comfortable and quite warm, but I did not find them as flattering on my body as I thought. Uh, I thought they were, the elastic was just kind of weird on me personally, and uh, it just wasn't the right fit. Uh, those were also about $40. Everything will be linked yeah. in the description box below. I got the Jim's, Jemai's Women's 3-in-1 Snow Jacket. And what I really liked about this is that it has this removable puffer layer. So you can zip it out and make it a thinner jacket if you're like overheating. Uh, this is this one. And obviously you guys will see all of these on. But I thought this one was pretty cute. It had a nice fit. Um, the only thing is it felt so bulky, like it feels ginormous. I feel like the Michelin man in this and I just don't know if I would like love walking around in that. I got mine in an extra large and this one was $75. I oh, forgot this uh, Genesee 3 in 1 jacket. I tried it on and I have to say that for me the fit was a little bit big. I find it kind of bulky. I think I prefer medium, but overall, I have to say, I like all the features here, like, like this, the removable uh, jacket that's inside. I think that's a great feature to have. So I think it's a nice jacket. Preferably, I don't like the silhouette on me again. Like I said, I think a smaller size would be better for my body. I think these are kind of a bit uh, oversized, but... I will say that Jerry likes things very tight fitting and so winter coats are hard because he will buy something too small to wear a sweater yeah. under and then not be able to wear it. So yes, he thinks it's oversized, but I do think it's probably the right fit for a like winter with layers outfit. Absolutely. And that one is also, oh. that one was $80. This friend is actually, um, or it was listed as a Finnish brand. I don't know that that's true because I've never seen this brand when I was shopping in Finland, but this is the Sao Saukini uh, women's ski jacket and it's a size extra large and it's got a furry inside. Um, I personally love the way this jacket fits but the zipper didn't work and I'm not even gonna try to like reorder a different one or see if like it was just this zipper because that is the most frustrating thing to me. But I do think it was the cutest style and it felt so warm, but um, yeah, a broken zipper is not it for me. I did get the same jacket, I think it's pronounced Siokini and uh, I have to say I did like this jacket, I did like the kind of puffiness, I didn't find it was not, you know, not way too bulky. I like the Ooh, it has arm pockets. It, it's got That's arm so pockets cool. as well. I did like the removable hoodie on this as well. Uh, the fit was good, but there was something about it. I have to say that the fit for me was just not right. I don't know. It looked a bit too big or like, I like shoulder pads on it. I don't know why. And then going back to that same brand of Jim's, Jim Eyes or that mm -hmm. first brand, 
was this jacket. This is the mountain ski jacket in a size extra large. And it is so heavy, but like in a really nice way. It just feels like a really high quality jacket. It has the um, like furry in seam. And then it also has this like really cool thing inside where it fits to your waist so that you're not getting cold um, when you're walking around. And there's a ton of pockets. But my favorite thing about this, which yeah. you guys will see in the try on, but it has a the wristband with the thumb holes. I just feel like this jacket would keep you so warm and I just love the features of it. I'm very, very impressed. So again, this is the Jim Eyes or Jim C women's mountain ski jacket. I got a size extra large and I think this is an amazing jacket for the price. I did get a similar jacket. I think the brand, if I, no, actually it's a different brand. This is the QPN. The QPN jacket. I'm going to link all of this below, but especially this jacket, it had like a ton of letters before the name. Mm. So I'm not honestly sure what the brand is. Um, so I'll be, it'll be linked in the description box. What I did love about this jacket is it's really softly sliding inside. I find it very, very comfortable. Also, there was the lining inside the hood to keep my head warm. I did like this jacket very much, but for me, uh, the thing was I found it a bit too short for me. It was $60, $60. and the last one that he tried was $60 as well. Moving into accessories, we got the same accessories. Mm -hmm. um, if you're like a guy who like, or a girl who really, really cares about like gender styling, then I will mention which ones are for men and which ones are for women. But that's just not us. Neither of us really care. So the um, first thing we both got is these Fansense yeah. uh, winter touch screen gloves. And the great thing about these is they actually do work on your phone. We tried them out. Um, and they're like this really like, I don't know, they almost remind me of like golf shirt material. I personally didn't love these. I might keep them. They were uh, $15. I might keep them because I do think that they would work, but I didn't love the fit of these. Um, I like the fit of them very much. I like the, and I'm quite, uh, quite tactile and I just like the overall, I guess, hand of it. Uh, we both got this set. It's a three piece set, or well, four piece sure. technically, but it has a neck gaiter, a like hat, furry knit hat, and gloves. I got mine in black, he got his in gray. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the Mylasic three piece winter knit set, and this whole set was only $17. Mm -hmm. You guys, this feels so rich and luxe. Like, it's really this nice feels like some bougie mm -hmm. high end. I will say the gloves, especially on the gray mm -hmm. one, the gray gloves like don't exactly match the- I was a little disappointed about that. The knit mm -hmm. um, and then the black gloves, like they're just like a very basic boring glove. So I don't like the gloves on it very much, but I think that this is so cute. And last, um, in terms of what we both got, we got these minus 33 merino wool, mm -hmm. wool ridge cuff beanies. And these are rated for like extreme weather. So I do think that these would be great in terms of keeping us super warm. Mm -hmm. I got the black, he got the, I gray. Got the gray. I just personally don't vibe with this aesthetic. I feel like this just is like not cute. Um, I don't like it for men or women. But this one is $23 and minus 33 is like a really, really reputable company. If you're ever looking for anything like merino wool, um, they have like really good quality stuff. So we both got those. I loved it by the way. I think it looked great on my head. Uh, a little sleeker, a little looked a little bit more fashion forward personally. Oh, and just to clarify, this is a men's beanie, and then the three piece set is a woman's set. And with minus 33, I got this headband. I personally prefer headbands over hats. Um, I just want my ears to stay warm, but like I'm not really trying to wear a hat. I, I got this one, it's also merino wool, it's the exact same material as these hats. And it's reversible, so you have the graphite and this desert sand color. Um, I did like this. I don't love this. I'm not sure if I'll keep it. This one was $15. 
And then along the same lines, I bought these ones. This came in a set. This is the Y Sense 2 pack uh, fur lined headband. And they're a knit with fur on the inside. I did find these to be more comfortable and a little cuter, but I can definitely tell these wouldn't keep me as warm as the minus 33. Two pack set for this was $14, so really, really good price. That completes our winter um, jacket and accessories clothing haul. Like I said, we are doing a base layer um, try on haul in the next video. So be sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you don't miss out on that. And be sure you're subscribed anyways because it's Vlogmas, baby. Yes. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Everything will be linked in the description box below. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment or DM us on Instagram. Um, and I'm happy to answer anything I can. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed our first try on haul together. Yeah. It's pretty fun to film. Um, and until next time, we will see you guys next time. Happy Vlogmas. Happy we love you.